This is the conclusion of building a foundation. We've taken you from supine to prone to quadruped all the way. We've, we've built the steps needed in order to be functional on our feet in an upright posture. So make sure that all your clients are able to work their way from the floor to, to quadruped to kneeling. Own the Turkish get up. Own each one of these steps. The more that you start to own this and dial in the, the little specifics all the way from breathing, ensuring there's no compensation with all this, your clients are going to really have a good base to work from. The foundation is going to be solid, that way whenever you do start teaching squatting, stepping, lunging, it's going to be so much easier, they're going to be successful, and the cl your clients are going to leave feeling you know, like they accomplished something versus doing poorly at it and then leave the gym feeling like they've you know that they're they're just not accomplishing what we want so build the foundation and then from there this is where you start to incorporate strength power speed and all the stuff we do on our feet the biggest thing that I want to to finish with is whenever we do get into the upright standing postures and the exercises that we're going to incorporate from there after we've built this foundation is foot positions. So now that we've built the foundation from the ground up and we're upright, let's make sure that we own three different foot positions. The first position we want to make sure we have when we're upright is going to be a bilateral stance. So this is where we're going to squat and deadlift from, feet even. And then the next foot position we want to get into is going to be a single leg stance. So this is our running, walking. We can use a box like to use boxes all the time for our stride stance so we can start to get into our single leg stance and start to chop, lift, press, add a bunch of different movements from this single leg stance and then our final leg position that we want to build strength, power and everything off of would be our split stance and that's going to be our 90-90, our split squats, our lunges. Make sure you challenge those three foot positions because those three, three foot positions is going to have a big interaction with the pelvis, the rib cage, and how our body just functions in an upright posture. So build the foundation, take it all the way up to the feet through the Turkish get up, and after you're on your feet this is where we want to make sure we go bilateral, single leg, and split stance so we get the pelvis and core interacting in an upright posture. So basically, after you got everything dialed in, your clients are going to be extremely successful and they're going to be able to do more of what you're asking them to do. So build the foundation and then start to add progressions based upon a good solid foundation, a good base.